The Ku Klux Klan um, actually began as uh, a group of six Confederate soldiers who returned home from war um, in 1865, and they found themselves now without enough to do. In 1935, W.E.B. Du Bois wrote that the Klan was a group of men who were afraid. Afraid of what, he asks? Well, afraid of losing their jobs, afraid of being declassed, afraid of losing who they were in a community, afraid of losing their money, afraid of losing their family. They were afraid of poverty. He also said that the Klan used fear to cast out fear. And that's what I found when during my weekend with the Klan down at Arkansas. No amount of research that I had done, um, not the hundred, hundreds of books I had read or the primary sources I had read, prepared me for that weekend. And one of the things um, that I realized, I wasn't prepared for the, the, the speeches. I, I certainly wasn't prepared for um, the sight of children who wore um, child-sized Klan robes. I wasn't prepared for uh, the Sunday church service, um, which burned with an altar call, where one by one or in family groups, um, people went to the front of the church and they raised their right arms in a straight-armed salute and dedicated themselves to their God, their race, and their country, and then shouted, White Power. I thought about the silence that there is on the subject of the first wave of the Ku Klux Klan, and I thought about the stories of those people that I had found, the freed people who wanted nothing more than to work, to vote, to go to school, to have a home of their own, land of their own, the right to earn a living, and reap the benefits of the work that they did. And I thought how their stories have been silenced for so long. Well, I hope that this book is a book that commemorates their lives in a way that no statue or plaque or marker has so far.